Okay, so last year I decided to go all in as a full-time content creator and freelance presentation designer after spending over 10 years working in marketing agencies. Over the past year, I've had to learn how to manage projects on my own, keeping track of deadlines, outsourcing services when needed, signing contracts and handling all the behind the scenes work that no one warns you about when you're running your own business. Let me tell you, it is a lot. Now. This video is not to scare you if you're thinking on becoming a freelancer or starting your own business, but to give you hope. In this video, I'll share my five-step workflow for project management, and I promise you it will be all you need to keep yourself organized and on track. So first things first, the platform that I use to manage all my projects is monday.com. I have an exclusive link for my viewers to try out monday.com for free, and it's also in the description box of this video and as a pinned comment so you don't miss it. And you can always upgrade to paid plans if you find the platform useful. Once you've signed up, here's what you'll see. On the left hand side, you have your workspaces, which are essentially hubs that group boards, dashboards, and everything you need for each project. But I'll get to that in a minute. You can add new workspaces if you click on the plus icon here, but since we already have one, I'll just call it presentation projects. It doesn't look like much now, but it will in a minute. If you click on Add from Templates, you can import a pre-made template to manage tasks that your organization might need. There's everything from forms and campaign planners to content calendars and more. So be sure to check them out if you're looking for something specific. For now, let's just click on Start from Scratch. And just like that, you now have a board in your workspace. By default, it will display groups with items, a person, the status, and a date. Don't worry, I'll walk you through exactly how to set this up and show you how I've been using this exact template to manage six-figure projects and top clients. So if this board is for managing my presentation projects, I just need to change the name of each group to a different presentation project, right? Well, if that sounds obvious, it's because this platform is very intuitive. So it's practically self-explanatory, which is something that I really like about it. To change the names, just double click on the group name and type in a new one. For example, I'll change this one to my client's presentation name, which is a presentation for their annual meeting this year. Next, I need to list everything required for each project as individual items. For this one, for example, I need to have an onboarding meeting with the client, sign the contract, get the assets, send the design presentation, make revisions, and best of all, send the invoice and get paid. Of course, what you include here will depend on your own workflow. If a task requires additional subtasks, adding them is super easy. Just click on the arrow next to the item and add sub items. So for example, I'll list all the assets I need from the client before moving on to the concept stage of this project. You can also set deadlines for each task by clicking on the calendar icon here and selecting a date. And if you're a visual learner like me, you can click on the status and change it to working on it, stuck or done. This helps you visualize what stage of the project you're in for each specific task, making it easy to identify what's happening at each stage of your project. As I mentioned earlier, I sometimes need to outsource different tasks to different people to help with certain aspects of my freelance business. This includes finance professionals to manage my invoices or lawyers to review contracts. If you click on the person icon here, you'll be able to assign members to specific tasks or subtasks, whether they are part of your organization or not. For example, for the contracts, I'll assign a lawyer to ensure that everything is correct. That way, I don't even have to send them an email or a text message as they'll be notified automatically. If you want to be more specific, you can expand the task by clicking on this button. This will open a panel on the right hand side where you can add more details. I'll tag them and ask them to review the content. Contract. There's an attachment icon here where I'll even add the contract for them to review and we can continue the conversation over there. 
Every morning I check my pending tasks for the day to see what's urgent, what's in progress and what's stuck. I like to have a Kanban view of my boards because it makes it very easy to identify what's urgent and what's not. To do that, simply click on the plus icon over here and select a different view. You can choose a table, a Gantt chart or whatever you prefer. If you choose a Kanban view, you'll see something like this. The coolest part is that you can even drag and drop items between columns and you have all the features I've already mentioned, such as assigning people to each task or adding updates. So to recap, here's my five step workflow for managing projects as a freelancer or small business owner. Start by setting up a workspace to organize tasks for each of your projects. Next, create a different board for each project. Then fill them out with your content using tasks and subtasks for every single thing that you need to do. That way you won't lose track of each of the project stage. Don't forget to assign roles and delegate tasks to optimize your workflow. And finally, visualize the entire structure of your projects and stick to a plan that works for you. This process has helped me manage top clients and six figure projects, and I'm sure it will work for you as well. I have a link in the description box below if you want to try out monday.com for free, and I'll see you on my next video.